Hi there. So this is my website. And if I scroll down, I can see the default footer here that has this copyright text. So if you want to edit this text here, or you want to add some things to your footer, like links to different pages or some social media widgets, whatever you need, I'm going to show you the easiest ways to edit and customize your footer. Now, the first step is to make sure that a site isn't really slow. Otherwise, most people will give up before reaching the footer itself. Most people don't realize when their site is slow. So let's do a quick check. You can go to the description and click on the link. And that should take you to this website. This is 100% free. You'll also see my face here because we've built this so you can trust that it actually works. Just click sign up here, add your email. Now paste your website URL here and click here. Now download the plugin by clicking here. And you can see that a zip file has downloaded. Then go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, then add new, then drag and drop this folder. Then install the plugin and activate it. Now your site is automatically being optimized. And here you should see a big jump in speed. If you go back to PageSpeed Insights and analyze this again, you'll now see the improved score is above 90. And LF will keep your site fast even if you add more elements to it. Now let's log into a WordPress dashboard and go to the appearance menu. Click on widgets and it'll open up a page where you can access all your widget areas. Now look on the left side and you'll see the footer widgets, usually labeled footer build widget one. So click on the section you want to edit. Let's add another menu here. So for that, we have to create one. So go to appearance and menus, click on create new menu and let's keep the title as footer menu. Now select the pages you want to add in this list and click on add to menu. Click the save menu and go back to the widget section. Select the footer widget and click on the plus icon here and click here to search for a quick navigation menu. Let's keep the title as quick links and select the menu that we create. Now save your changes. Let's go back to our site and we can see that the menu we created is added. Now let's see how we can customize the footer from the theme options. So let's go to our site and click on customize. So let's go to the footer builder, click on the settings icon. Here you can add three rows of footer. Let me click here. And on the left, I can select the number of columns I want. Now scroll down. Here I can change the vertical alignment of the widgets and in the visibility section, I can choose to display the footer row only for specific devices. Now if I deselect it for desktop, the footer will only be visible in the mobile and tablet mode. Also I can click on the customize icon next to the widget to edit the widget. Here we can see the different sections in our footer. To change the copyright section, click on it, then personalize it with your name or company like this. There's also short codes here. So when I use current underscore year, instead of putting the year as it is, it will auto update every year. And the same goes for the site title. So whenever you change it, you don't have to come back here and change it again. Now click on save changes. Here on the right, we can see the social icons for our site. To edit the social icons, click on the edit button next to it. And now I can add a social link here. I can click on the drop down to select the social icon I want, then click this and click on the arrow here to add the link. Now scroll down and I can choose to show the social media label. Scroll down, then click this. Click on this to make it visible only to specific devices. Now you'll see the widgets here in our footer. So far, we've looked at two straightforward ways to customize your WordPress footer. But what if you want to take your footer customization to the next level? That's exactly what we're going to cover next. We'll be using Elementor to customize your footer from scratch. First, ensure you have Elementor installed. If not, you can easily install it from your WordPress dashboard by going to plugins, add new. Now let's search for Elementor header footer. This is the plugin. Click on install and then activate it. Now let's go to appearance and click on header footer blocks. Then you'll see this page. Here, click on add new and give your new footer template a unique name. Then in this dropdown, choose footer. And here we can select where we want to display our footer. I'll choose entire website. And then for the user roles, I'll select all users. Now once done, click on publish. All right, now we've created a custom footer block. Now let's design it. Then click on edit with Elementor. First, let's select the layout for our footer. So click on the plus icon, choose a layout style. 
I'll choose the three column layout. Now let's add some elements to this footer. So click on the plus icon and then drag this image widget to the center. Then click on choose image and let me select the logo of my site. I feel it's a little bigger than how I want it to look. So let's click on style and modify the width to how I want it. Now let's add a short description to our site. So click here, then drag the text editor under the logo. Now let's select the dummy text and replace it. Now I want this text to be aligned in the center. So go to the style tab and click on center here. Now the text is center aligned. So let's add social media links to the footer. So click here and search for social icons. Drag and drop them here. Now let's click on the list here and add our social links. Now if I want the icons to be circular, then click here and choose circle. Now let's add a navigation menu to the footer. So click here and then search for navigation menu. Then select this one and drop it here. Now select the menu that you want to add and we can see that it is laid out horizontally. So to change this, go to layout and select vertical here. Now let's go to the style tab and reduce the vertical padding as the elements are very spaced out here. Also we need a heading for this menu. So add a heading widget above this and let's name it quick links and change it to H3. Then let's add contact information here. So first add a heading and name it contact Then let's click here and search for the icon list and then drop it here. Then let's click on the icons to modify them and I'll add the address here and then to change the icon, click on the icon library and search for map and select the icon. Similarly, let me add a phone number and modify the icon and also add my email address and then modify the icon. All right, finally, we're going to add a copyright section. So just click on the plus icon here and select this structure. Now search for copyright and drop it here. Now we can see it already has populated the content. So let's just align it to the center. And now we have completely customized our footer. So let's click on update and go to our page and hit refresh. Now let's scroll down to the footer. Now you'll be able to see that we have the custom footer there. This method gives you complete flexibility to customize your footer in any style you want. Also in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.